Hello, my name is Jim Armstrong. I am here to show you how to use Microsoft Ice. Microsoft Ice, in case you don't know, is a free utility, compliments of Microsoft. It allows you to take a series of pictures and stitch them together, seamlessly in most cases, to create beautiful panoramics. Uh, well, I'll start off this introduction by showing you the panoramic on my desktop. Uh, this is a, a photograph, a uh, panoramic created from these three images uh, which I'm clicking on. I stitched them together using Microsoft Ice. Uh, it's virtually automatic. Okay, we'll start at that point. Okay, so to begin, locate yourself a copy of Microsoft Ice. If you don't already uh, have a copy of Microsoft Ice, uh, check the description of this video uh, for a link to where you can download it. Again, it's free. There's a 32-bit and a 64-bit version available depending upon your operating system. So, once you run Microsoft Ice, it comes up with uh, this screen that you're looking at here. Uh, the basic gray area in the middle is where you drop your images. Uh, there are some advanced options which I'm not going to go into because um, you, you don't even need to use these advanced options to create panoramics in most cases. Okay, <clears throat> I'll resize this window. We're going to work with these three images on the left here. Uh, three photographs I took uh, in series uh, panning from left to right. So I would take a shot uh, looking to my far left, uh, move the camera slightly to the right. As you can see, uh, this building is, is a good reference point. It's on the corner of this photo. In this photo, it's in slightly. You can see the trees. And in the final photo, the building is still in, in view, uh, and it's mostly trees. So long as you keep a good uh, reference point or a good overlap in your images, Microsoft Ice can easily stitch them together. So, how do you, uh, how do you stitch, you ask? Well, it's very simple. You take your source files, you just uh, select them all at once by dragging them around them. Uh, left click, hold, and drag them straight into ICE. Let go. You'll see that uh, ICE evaluates the pictures, makes a few decisions, and then automatically stitches them together. Now, in this example, it's fairly straight. Uh, there's no issues with uh, it being skewed or uh, things not lining up properly. Uh, so basically, we're done. We've stitched the image. Uh, the only thing that we might do uh, to this image to enhance it some is to take out these people uh, that we don't want in our image. Uh, the way we do that is using this, uh, these little grabbers here. These allow you to crop your picture uh, and, and pick what part of the photograph you do not want to export. Now, once again, uh, Microsoft Ice being almost fully automatic, uh, it will self-crop for you. Down here to the to the left side is an automatic crop button. You click automatic crop, uh, Ice automatically crops in and gives you the maximum size picture uh, without any uh, angles or, or missing parts of the picture. So in most cases you can click automatic crop and it does the job. Uh, other options before you export are uh, type of image that you want to export. JPEG, TIFF, Photoshop, deep zoom tile set, Windows bitmap, PNG image, and an HD photo image. Now some of these options here you may not have heard of like the HD photo image or the deep zoom tile set. 
Uh, I may do a tutorial at some point and explain what those are. Uh, those are a little more specialized and actually, uh, you know, useful if you have a website where you want to have a, an image that can be uh, zoomed into dramatically from uh, from an overview perspective. But we'll get into that at a later tutorial. Um, but for our case, we're going to select JPEG. Uh, we're going to leave it at the standard 80 quality, which is uh, normal JPEG compression. Um, also, uh, the output size here. Uh, at 100%, this image is 6,682 by 2805. Uh, that is a very large image. If you was to take that to a, a professional printer, uh, that would be a, a very nice poster. The image itself is a total of 18.74 megapixels. Now, once you've got your panoramic created, again, uh, you can click automatic crop. It brings in these bars just inside the curved edges to give you a perfectly uh, rectangle photograph. Again, you can drag these to manually crop additional things from the picture, such as people who happen to be in your way and at the end of the day this is going to be your image when you're ready to export go ahead and click the export to disk button you pick a destination I'm going to go ahead and save it in the same location uh, where I originally uh, pulled the images from okay I'm going to call this uh, Venice Panoramic and I'm going to save it takes ice just a few moments and it exports the file uh, to disk. Uh, to see your handiwork, I'm going to go ahead and minimize the application. Uh, here I'm already in the, the Italy folder and there's my Venice panoramic. Double click it and there it is. My Venice panoramic. So I've taken three photographs and stitched them into one. Uh, again, one of the nice things about ICE is it's seamless stitching. Um, they've apparently developed uh, an excellent algorithm to detect edges, uh, and it does a better job than most uh, pay applications that I've found. Okay, uh, that concludes uh, our first test. We're going to do another test now. Okay, and this one? We're going to take a few, uh, a, a few more images. This time it's going to be five total. Okay, again, I'm going to open up Microsoft Ice. As you can see, the, uh, the, the previous image it's, is still uh, in here. Uh, no big deal. You can leave it there uh, and simply uh, drag your new images on top of it and say discard the old project. It'll go ahead and, and bring in the new images and create a whole new project. Um, again, it does a nearly perfect stitch. If for some reason uh, a picture looks slightly skewed, you can manually uh, override the camera motion technique that ICE uses to determine uh, you know, the best way for the picture to be presented. Uh, you can switch it to planar motion one and take a look at it. You can try planar motion two. Okay. Again, very similar. Uh, in other images, uh, you will sometimes see dramatic differences in the different uh, camera motion techniques. And it had defaulted to uh, three to begin with. I'll go back to three. We'll look at it. Okay. Again. I can actually tell now in this image that there's a slight skew to the left hand side. It looks like the lighthouse has a slight lean to it. And finally I'm going to try the rotating motion. Uh, in my opinion this is one of the uh, one of the better looks for it. Okay, I like that. Let's go ahead and click automatic crop. Okay, you can see it has uh, created a crop that's going to give us a maximum photo size and now I'm going to export to disk. Uh, it's presently in the Italy folder. I'm going to go back a level and 
drill back into the France folder. Uh, by default, it takes the first file name and it adds the word stitch to it. I'm going to accept that as my file name and click save. It saves the image, it takes it a few seconds. Okay, I'm going to minimize ice and we're going to take a peek and see our final product. Let me zoom in at full resolution. This wasn't the best photo to begin with, but as you can see, Microsoft Ice has stitched these five images into one uh, perfect image. Uh, most of the time, this is going to be the results that you get. Uh, even on complex images like this, uh, if I studied this image closely enough, I might find the seam, uh, but in most cases, uh, the seam is going to be completely invisible. Uh, you and especially other people are not even going to begin to see it. Okay, uh, and I've got one more example that we can give it, we can try. This one's a few more images. This one is a total of 15 images that I'm going to uh, turn into a single panoramic. Uh, looking at them, same as before, I'm panning left to right. Okay. Each time I move, I keep some of the previous image in the frame so that the uh, stitch software has something to line up against. Okay. So as you can see, it's uh, quite an extensive panoramic. Okay. Again, Microsoft Ice is on the screen. I'm going to grab all of the images and drag them into Ice and release. Uh, discard the old project we were just working on. Maximize the window again. As you can see, Ice is very fast. Uh, now, I, I have an i7 processor. If you don't have an i7, which is a quad-core processor, your machine may go a little slower, but it, it doesn't take that long. Okay, there we go. We have a, an excellent 13,557 pixel wide image uh, weighing in at a whopping 31.59 megapixels. Now, if I roll my mouse wheel, it'll actually let me zoom in and I can see uh, how the image turned out. If uh, for some reason you've got uh, some some stitching evident, uh, you can sometimes sometimes you may have to pull out an image. Um, you know, at the very end you may have went too far. You may have to pull it out. Uh, but you can take a peek here. Uh, zoom in. It's not a full resolution preview, uh, but it's, I think we're looking pretty good here. Uh, I'm going to hit the automatic crop button again. As you can see, it crops out the uh, this top section here, which is uh, variations in the the height that I held the camera as I as I did my pan. Uh, one thing I should add: I'm not using a tripod. These are all these pictures are taken with me simply holding the camera, taking a picture, moving it slightly, taking a picture, moving it slightly, taking a picture, so on and so forth. Uh, it takes a little practice, uh, so by all means, do a few trial runs. Uh, okay, so the crop looks pretty good. I think I'm going to go ahead and crop out these cables, and otherwise, the picture looks good. So at this point, I'm going to export this image to disk. I'm going to back it up to my Baja California folder. I'm going to keep the stitch file name, and I'm going to save it. It takes it a few moments to uh, do its thing and uh, save the image to the hard drive. Okay, uh, it has now saved this panoramic. I'm going to minimize ice and take a peek inside the folder. There it is. So I can double click. I'm going to uh, view it at its full resolution or actual size. As you can see, I can now pan the picture. And we have a beautiful image. Uh, if you, I don't know if, if 
you know what you've got local to you you can actually send this image to a, uh, a photo place and they can print this image out as one huge uh, 24 inch wide image uh, that makes a, uh, a neat little uh, photo keepsake from a vacation uh, something to put on the wall in your in your office or whatnot so at normal resolution uh, examining the image uh, again we had 15 separate images um, Microsoft ice has as stitched this image in such a way that uh, I am unable to detect any of the stitch marks or uh, well, the stitch locations I should say now keep in mind once in a while uh, especially when you have when you or just starting uh, out in taking panoramics you're going to take uh, you know frames that are too far apart or you're gonna have too many frames in which case sometimes the ice can get confused so don't be afraid to drag in a fewer amount of pictures uh, to see if you get the uh, a better result but when you consider the complexity of these images uh, with it being uh, lots of natural scenery, uh, complex buildings, and of course water. Uh, it's amazing that ICE, a completely free application, can produce such a stunning panoramic. Okay, so that concludes uh, the basic uh, overview of ICE and uh, the simple basic functionality of the Microsoft Image Composite Editor. Again, uh, no skills are necessary. This is literally the most drag and drop compositing application uh, I have ever found. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, check back. I'll try to do some more tutorials on ICE uh, such as is compositing images that aren't simply left to right. Uh, I'll try to do some that are up and down or irregular in shape. Otherwise, that concludes the, uh, the tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.